Hi there, Kawa here with another video for you guys. Uh, this video, I'm going to try to keep it short. Um, it's just going to be a quick uh, talk about the first unit that I merged up to plus 10. Um, the unit I merged up for plus 10 was used for Aether Raids. Uh, I used him to carry me to tier 21. Uh, I think there might be better options these days. Uh, well, not really, but uh, we'll touch in on that. So, without further ado, the unit is Donald. Uh, this guy here. He uh, looks very underwhelming, I know. Uh, but he was my plus 10 unit right away because he's a great tank. Uh, he has the stats for tanking. That's the most important thing. Like, if you look at his stats, he, it's very roundabout. And uh, he, his lowest was resist, so I got him. I found one with plus resist so that it can patch that up for me. And he's very, very uh, available. He's part of the 3 and 4 star pool, and you also can get two free copies of him through the. Um, the special maps area uh he shows up like i don't remember what the other week he shows up but he shows up and you get two copies there very easy to find you pull blue you'll definitely find him um but that's besides the point the point is i merged him up uh because of his kit um as you can see his kit here is a little expensive um i should also point out that he is light blessed because he's my light tank. Um, for Astra, I don't really have one yet. Uh, I, well, I technically have one, but that's a, we'll talk about that another time. Uh, but yeah, he was my light tank uh, because when I started, Astra really wasn't a thing yet. And uh, yeah, so his stats get way more inflated when we enter uh, light season with two airs on our team. Um, as you should, all should know, if you're starting the game, you need two airs for a light season. You get one for free for, on story mode, chapter 3, I think. Uh, chapter no, uh, Book 3, chapter 1, I think. Uh, gets you one free air. You just gotta pull one more on uh, the beginning banner. I uh, know the beginning banner uh, has a chance to pull air. You just need one copy bare minimum. So you need two copies for your team. So... When you enter light season, you can, as you can see, these stats are what Dono looks like at plus 10 with 5 dragon flowers. He can go up to 10 dragon flowers, so his stats will be plus 1 more than what I have showing right now. And then with air, he gets another 10 HP on top of that, and another 6 resist. So he goes easily to 42 resist and 63 HP, making him an excellent tank. Um, and I'm just going to really go over his skills real quick to explain why he has these skills. So, Casablanca, uh, I refined it for res because I can tell you he needs the resistance. Uh, if you feel like he needs defense more, you can easily just go for defense. If you feel like attack, I don't really think you need to go for attack. I'll tell you why later. But yeah, uh, the most important part of this weapon here is that it neutralizes bonuses. So it's those buffs that you see people have on their skills, the light, like the lit up ones. Um, when they fight him, he negates them. So anyone ranged does not have buffs when fighting him, so it's pretty even grounds. Which makes him great for tanking mages and archers. And dagger users, but, you know, you know all ranged people. Uh, it helps with staffs too, but the issue is that most staff users have dazzling staff, so you cannot counterattack them. Um, which is why, as I go further down, we have Null Sea Disrupt here. Null Sea Disrupt is a very, very exclusive skill. It only comes on Nyla, and uh, she doesn't show up very often, I tell you that. But she is extra premium fodder because she has Null Sea Disrupt. And she also has distant counter, so do not merge her up. You you want as many copies of her as you can get. You know, well, not as many copies as you can get, like as many copies of as many tanks that you intend to build. You realistically only need two tanks: one for Astra season, one for Light season. But that's besides the point. 
She has both Disencounter and No C, and most tanks want both of those. Uh, no C prevents people from stopping you from counterattacking, so fire sweep bows and uh, staff users will not be able to stop Donald from attacking them back for them attacking him. And most of the time, he will kill them for them attacking him. So you just you know throw him into the fray, like into the danger zone. They'll come down and try to kill him. They will not succeed, and Donald will kill them for attacking him, which is very important. Uh, his special soul is very basic. It's just a heal skill, um, and it's a three cooldown heal. But because of the interaction with him and quick repulse, he will definitely get a heal almost every fight or every like or at the beginning of the next fight. He'll definitely heal up, and because of his tanky stats, he really doesn't absolutely need it but it, you know it helps to have it just in case because there will be events where you run into maybe a green mage who is hitting kind of hard there's only like a few but they do hit hard sometimes um but yeah so so just really quick uh attack smoke really basic a tank skill you use it um on majority of tanks like just other things you can use but i find it the most basic because it lowers the attack of uh, people around the person who attacked him so that any other consecutive attacks of other people coming in get weaker so he doesn't have to worry too much about tanking everybody uh you don't have to do use donald as i said in the beginning uh you you don't even have to technically tank you can go other strategies. I went with tanking because I found it to be the most simple and straightforward way to make it to tier 21. And then from there, move on to try to hit tier 27, which is the highest point in Aether Raids. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, I found it to be the most simple solution. You might not find it a simple solution. You might find it boring. You don't have to go with this route. But, if you do go down this route, do know that you will need his support friend here, Corin. You need a Corin five five star because he needs his uh, weapon Yado, which is the whole premise for this. Uh, Yado gives four stats uh, to his friend of Corin, so you friend up Corin with uh, Donald like this, like the support. Uh, as you see, mine's right now is with Fiorm because it's Fiorm's bonus season. So she's my tank right now uh, because she has inflated stats for no reason during Aether Raids. And then with Corrin on top of it, he's giving her even more stats. Because as you can see, he gets four to her. Um, and then, you know, uh, by being friends, he gives another two if he's right behind her or one space away. She get, uh, And then if he's one space away, he gets only one. So he ranges between giving five or six extra stats. He's one of the best support units you can get. He's in the three and four star pool. Very minimal uh, requirements. You just need to make him a uh, five star and then get him as Yato. And then, you know, ally, ally support the, your tank and him up. Um, and then uh, I want to touch in on the fact that he, you know, he has a drive skill for his C skill. Uh, his seal, the sacred seal, will also be a drive skill. Uh, you can pick whichever drive you want, uh, whichever you can I'm using full res, I run a lot of agents. So, um, like two spaces away from Donald, we'll be giving Donald another six of on, on top of what he's giving is Alice. And these buffs are non invisible buffs. So they cannot be reversed by panic. Which is very important. And then the other very important thing about Corin is his stat line is actually very um, high, in my opinion. Um, he, it's high enough that he's able to overtake Donald by like one or two in multiple spots. Like his attack is 55 and his speed is 39. And Donald's attack is 54, and his speed is 34. So he's also he's weaker by one and slower by a lot. But do you know that I do have Fury three on Corin to make sure these stats work like this. Uh, the prime reason you want to do something like this is so that Corin will uh, take the chill attacks or the chill res or whatever chill um, 
day your opponent might have, um, he'll take it instead of Donald taking it because his stats are higher. That's how chills work. And you want Corrin to eat it because he is a non-combatant. He's not going to go into battle, but Donald is. So by having uh, Corrin take the chills, Donald doesn't have to lose stats. And then Donald will continue being really strong from all these stats that he's gaining from Corrin being nearby. Um, and that's really it. You just make sure to invest in the uh, in your tank. Uh, usually, you should aim for something that you can readily that's readily available, so that you can merge them up. Because for tanking, every stat counts, and you're gonna want a Corin. Corin is very staple. He's really free. He doesn't cost anything to really build um, outside of the twenty thousand feathers you have to invest into him and uh, the divine dew. Um, but I also want to touch in that when I started the game, they were not giving out bike here for free. So when you finish those missions that you have in your home screen, uh, at the end of it, they give you one free bike. Uh, he's Brave Ike, that's why I call him Bike. Uh, but yeah, besides, besides the point. Bike here is a very good tank also. Arguably one of the best tanks right now because of his refine with his uh, weapon, where he reduces dam incoming damage, and he has like a little gimmick where he makes you attack him twice first. So, as you can see, his stats are really high, he has like 50 HP, so when he's in, well, mine's plus HP, so he's not going to have 50 on him. What you're going to get is going to be like 47, I think, or 46, but then if he's blessed with two out, um, Mystic allies, he is going to get another 10 HP, which also is another cushion that you get to work with in Aether Raids. But uh, most importantly, uh, do not pay attention to my bike's build because I need, uh, I didn't need another tank, so I didn't really build him. I did give him distant defense though because I was testing him out. Uh, but yes, when you play with bike, it's going to look almost the same as uh, how Donald looked. You're going to want distant counter. No C disrupt and uh, attack smoke. Uh, attack smoke is something you can swap out, but in no C disrupt you can kind of swap in and out. Uh, not absolutely necessary, but it is very useful. If you are not using um, no C disrupt, your alternative option would be quick repulse. You can give him quick repulse onto his beast thought, and his sacred seal could be almost anything at that point. Um, and then uh, he'll do still the same thing, but you absolutely still need to distant counter. And instead of using Soul, like Donald, he gets the luxury of using Aether, which um, is way stronger than Soul. Um, for those who have also Brave Lucina, uh, she is the perfect partner for Ike, uh, but you also have to give her a refine to her weapon too for the effect. So it's a really high investment because you have to invest in Ike's Refine and then you have to invest in Lucina's Refine. Uh, and and uh, Ike is not readily mergeable because he's a 5 star exclusive unit. He doesn't show up very often. So usually you should pick something easier to merge because like I said, every stat counts. So something like Donald will be a better choice. Uh, but Ike is an option too. He, he has stats to definitely do tanking. Uh, but you probably, if you don't have Lucina, you absolutely want to pair him up with Corrin. Uh, same reason as before. And yeah, I just wanted to touch in on that real quick. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you guys are going to merge up. Um, like I said, I showed you guys, Donald was my first merge because I wanted to climb the AR ladder. Maybe you guys will choose something else. Let me know. Alright guys, till the next video. Bye.